All right, so today we're gonna to change the oil in this generator using this vacuum fluid extractor that I built in a previous video. I'll put a link to it in the end of this video. And this shop style vacuum cleaner. I'll put a link in, that, in the description for that as well. Let's get to it. All right, to start with, we're gonna fire up the generator, let it run for a little bit, warm up. Our fuel on already, chokes on already. Turn the engine power switch on. Give her a pull. And then I'm just gonna shut the fuel off and let it run out of fuel, and by that time it should be plenty warm to change the oil. All right, so to use this fluid extractor, all you gotta do is take the hose from your vacuum cleaner and push it onto this adapter fitting that we made. Go ahead and remove the dipstick. That's where we're gonna pull our oil out of. See how she works. There we go, let me work a little better. Pull this back out so you get a little air in there, you can see it, see it moving. You see the air pocket going, just to get back in the oil. And there's our oil chasing it. I believe this generator holds 20 ounces of oil. I'll let this go and I'll bring you back whenever it's done. All right, and that's it. Looks like it's got all the oil out. We'll go ahead and shut it off and uh, put some fresh oil in this thing. All right, now I'm gonna get my funnel set up here. We're gonna add uh, 20 ounces, or right about 20 ounces for our favorite engine oil here. Now here's manufacturer's recommended oil weight versus temperature chart. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just use a full synthetic 5W30 motor oil. It looks like the best option. Here's the amount of oil it holds. I guess originally it was 10W30, 20 ounces of full synthetic 5W30 motor oil. I'm gonna go to just shy of 20 ounces. Our little measuring funnel here. It's got a valve on it. It's a pretty handy little funnel. If I can find this on Amazon, I'll throw a link in the description for it. Just because this holds 20 ounces, I'm not 100% sure we got all the oil out of it. So to be safe, I'm going to go a little less. I don't want to spill it if I don't have to. All right, and we just turn this to open the valve. I believe I bought this funnel at a local auto parts store. So I don't know if I'll be able to find it on Amazon, but if I do, I'll definitely include a, a link in the description. Along with the link to the video for the vacuum extractor, how to make it. And I'll include the link for the vacuum cleaner I'm using as well. Uh, if you do use that link and go to Amazon and purchase anything, the channel gets a small percentage of that sale. Uh, it doesn't add any cost to you at all. And maybe help us buy stuff for future projects. And that'd be awesome. And I appreciate your guys' your guys's help on that. Looks like we're just a little bit shy. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. If you like this video and you'd like to make one of these for yourself, there'll be a link at the end of the video for my how-to video on making this. Um, 
links for all the parts will be in the description of that video. Uh, I'll throw some links in the description of this video as well. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.